Hello everybody and welcome back. This is going to be my second video and I am so excited about the reaction that I got from the first one. So thank all of you for your comments, uh, follows and likes. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, please tell your friends and share. For this challenge, we're going to be doing another community challenge, weekly number eight. Again, probably four or five years old. I'm going to be going up in uh, sequence here. So I'm going to start out with the older ones. And this time I'm going to touch on a couple of tricks and hints as I go through it. So effectively, you can read here on the screen, but what it's doing, you've got a restaurant and they've, they've got sales and they're looking at them starting from June of 13. And what they want to know is if they create a special meal package that was a pizza or a burger along with the side to drink, what percentage of the tickets does that really hit on? So I'm going to do two things here. And I, again, I've already done the flow and I want to work, walk it through with you. But I want to show you what my flow kind of looked like when I first did it. And this is how it looks and it's kind of scrambled, right? And the importance and the tips and the tricks that I'm gonna walk you through is this exact same process flow. It's important to understand what it looks like and how it is to follow because you might not necessarily be the only person that ever looks at it or perhaps you're gonna move into a different role or perhaps you're gonna take this particular flow and pass it to somebody else. I wanna take and show you that this exact same flow and this is a kind of a best practice. I'm clicking over here to the other version on how to clean it up. This is the same flow. And you create these boxes around different pieces of it where you're taking the files. Here you've got a point of sale which tells you all of the different things that get sold and the, the ticket ID that it came on. And this one is a lookup. This is where they want to group their stuff together. So I, I put all of that into one. And then you're counting all of the tickets. That's a section two. And here is how you do it. There is a tool called comment. And I'm gonna drag that onto the canvas and I get a little box. And I take my box and I expand it over this section. And then I right click it and I say send to back. And now it's a box around those tools. And then I come over here and say, well, what do I want that background to be? And I've got these custom colors down here. Now you don't want to do something real harsh. I've got kind of a two different versions of things, right? So if I do this blue, I'm going to do this for you for a moment and do that. Whoa, that just, it's, it's, it strikes you too much. So I like to tone that down with kind of a softer color and do something like that. Then you still separate it, but it doesn't, it's not so jarring when you look at it, right? And you can come out here and you can do the same thing over here where I grab a comment and I pull it on to the canvas and I expand it a little bit. and I tell it to go to the back and I tell it, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give it a pastel. I like green for finished products for mine. And you can develop your own color scheme. That's the point is now look at this and you've got a very clear idea. And now if you want that writing in the box, like I've got this count all tickets, I come over here and I go text and I go results, all right? And now it's up here. And same thing for this one. I want to do this. Isolate meal combinations. And we'll get to what we do in it in just a moment. But I wanted to talk to you about that to start off. To say, look at how nice and clean it is. And this creates your documentation right as you go. Okay. So I already touched over here and I said, hey, I've got this text input file and I've got 
oh goodness, if I run this here real quick, and I don't think I had prior to this, I got 269,000 records that I'm, I'm having in my mail. You can see it right there, right? And my lookup table's got 39 records, and you can drag this up and you can take a quick glance. And these are the different things in the category type of burger, pizza, salad, side, soup, drink. In this one, we're joining these two together. What we're doing is we're saying we're going to take and we're going to join a description with a description. And I'm leaving off, and notice there's a left and a right, just like you have in SQL. You've got a left and a right join. And you've got the left ticket ID, the left date, right? And then you've got these, the left price, date, member, left description, right description. I'm joining on description. And what I get here is everything that joined, right? Now, click on this. One of the, the absolute things that I, I fell in love with Alteryx right to start off with is that uh, in your joins, you can see what's in your left and what's in your right, and you can see immediately what has dropped out of your joins. Your left, your join, and your rights. So out of your rights, this particular record, iced tea drink, dropped out because it couldn't find a match anywhere in your point of sales. And you'll see the same thing down here, right? So we're going to take our join and we're going to send it over here and we're going to filter it. And remember, part of this challenge was saying after June of 13. And so, you know what? We're going to have to deal with June of 13 or greater. Now, I'm going to touch on this, but I touched on it last time. This is how you do this. This is a, a, a format date, and you can find that in the parse section. But I did that last video, so I don't want to spend time on that again. <clears throat> and then here we are filtering everything that's greater than that June 30th. And if you look, here's a true and a false. And again, you can see the data that dropped out. All of these ones... All of these records, 107,000 of the records, dropped out because they weren't in the time window we were looking at. Here we've got a summarize tool, and we come over here, and we want to summarize it by ticket, and all we want to do is count how many distinct tickets. So we come down here, we choose count distinct tickets, and I've got an extra little browse up here just because I want to see the results separately. Now, down here, again, it's a true false. It's like anything, and you can use an in statement, just like SQL. Drink, burger, a pizza, or a side, and, and a date, time. And yes, I could have done this differently, and I'm going to put the caveat here. Understand that this was a flow that I put together. There are a hundred different ways that you can do this. Absolutely not a right and a wrong way to do this. So... Whatever works for you, that's how I happen to do it on this one. And then I did a filter. I said, okay, give me my, my burgers and pizza over here. And anything that drops out is going to come out of here. So I got my cheese stick, which is a side. I got 54,000 records, right? And so I'm going to join these two back together. And here it is with a side a burger and a pizza, and I'm joining the side, and I'm doing it on a ticket ID. Which ticket ID has these two items? This filter here, the false, right? If it doesn't equal a side, what is it? Large sodas, drinks. So we're going to want to know if it's got both of these items and we join it back again, we've got a ticket ID. And again, we've got this left and right thing going on. So you can see what drops out at each level. 10,000 records drop out because they didn't, this burger or pizza didn't have a side to it. And then we join it back to the drinks and guess what? We're gonna drop out a whole bunch more because they didn't have a drink to it. So those are filtered for the burger and the pizza and then the side with that true 
and then the drink with the faults and we join them and we join them. And then we come back over here and we do a count distinct again of the ticket IDs. And if you look, we've got a total down here at 10, 964. And then we join these two together. <clears throat> Only the join in this case is a little different. We're joining it by record position because they're diff two different pieces of data, right? And so what that looks like when it comes out is the two are right next to each other. So it's the potential and then the total of how many tickets. And then we throw a simple formula on there. We get that, we do a percentage, we put it in doubles and boom, we've got an output that says there's potential. There's our total. So 70% of our total is our potential in this case. Well, that will wrap it up again. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like, please hit the like, the subscribe button, share to your friends, and I will see you on the next video.